Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Pivot Animate. You're just going to type this into Google and then you're going to click Pivot Animate, the second one down because that's their actual website. Then you can read their information, watch their videos and see what's coming up and you can donate if you want. So you're just going to go to download. As you can see there's this version. This is an old version that they've got and here's the new version. It's just got better features than this but this one's simpler to use so it depends if you're a beginner or not and there's just different features so mm. let, let's download this one since I've already got it I'm not going to actually download it we're just going to go straight ahead and open it this is the first one this is the second so we're just going to go straight ahead and open this we're going to hit next we're going to scroll down to the bottom and hit next we don't want any of this, I don't want any of their toolbars we're going to hit next we decline this because we don't want this and you decline this because you don't want this really it's just silly little websites and things and now you hit next and you launch application on finish hit ok if you're English of course the main features of this are you have frame rate and it repeats it here that means how many frames are repeated you play and you stop this is the speed of how fast the animation will go let's say I went like that and add frame because it's at the bottom now and did that add frame at the bottom then did that add frame and did that add frame and let's play it see it's pretty fast I move it down slows it down move it up speeds it up and then if you remove the loop it stops and of course there's just the stop button you can add backgrounds but I haven't loaded any if you want to know where to get them you basically just go on the internet and find them you can add figures so you can have two on top of each other and you can well add figures you can get more than just those in the old version and you can join them together like that I think you can copy them. You can change the colour. So you like you can have a zombie invasion and you can center them, you can delete them, you can move them all about. And this is how big they are. Because you might want some bigger and this is how transparent they are. And that's mainly it for this one. The other one is better on XP than on Windows 7, but that's about it so thanks for watching and I'll just end on one of their pre-made animations Horse Revenge here it is let's just watch this put it on a loop these are the pre-made ones they also have videos on their website and thanks for watching.